The Particle Photon is a fantastic prototyping platform for creating IoT projects, and with the internet communication being all the rage, there are many different communication methods to choose from. In this article, we will learn how to post data to a simple website using the Particle Photon, and learn about a little bit of HTTP. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol and simply involves commands and data that allows users to obtain web pages or submit data to a web page. HTTP also includes codes depending on the order of the command as well as plenty of metadata. HTTP is a client-driven communication method where the client initiates all transfers and servers only respond. An HTTP server never forms a connection with a client, nor does it send data if not asked by the client. HTTP is almost always used on port 80. However, a private system could use any port by a user as long as that port is not used. Devices communicating over HTTP often use one of two commands, get and post. Get is used to get the contents of a file, while post is used to submit a value to a page. Get does not typically take any data, whereas post takes both a variable and some other metadata describing the nature of the data being sent. When either command is executed, the server responds with a code that indicates if the command was successful. If the command send was get, then the server also sends the contents of the file being requested. Here are some of the codes that a server can respond with. All HTTP packets, which include both commands, codes, metadata, and data, are all terminated with a double carriage return line feed, and each line in an HTTP message is terminated with a carriage return line feed. The get command is used to obtain data from a server. This is an example of a simple HTTP message. Note that the last line is a carriage return line feed, and this is immediately after the previous carriage return line feed, which indicates the end of the HTTP message. The response for a typical get command is shown. You will notice that this message has two carriage return line feeds, with the first one indicating the end of the HTTP server message, and the second indicates the end of the file contents of datavalue.html. The post message is used to send data to a website, which often involves sending a value to a form or script. The post message has some additional metadata needed by the server to correctly process the data, including the type of content and how many bytes of that content is. The example shown is a typical post message that sends the string 10 to a variable called number on the script found in submit.php. The script for the submit.php page is shown and demonstrates how the variable called number in the post message is extracted and then saved to data value.html. The following code is an example of how the particle photon is used to communicate using HTTP.